Oh my goodness, are you Isaac? Oh yeah, I am. You Cushy? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I think I'm connecting with you on LinkedIn. Yeah, I've seen so many amazing things about you. It's so nice to meet you in person. That's Edward Boucher. He's the youngest physics PhD. Uh, he got it only 22 years old. Uh, this is Kusi Sa. First of all, before the interview gets started, do you want to introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, my name is Kushi Shaw. I'm an 18-year-old innovator and entrepreneur based in Illinois. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Drizzle. Uh, Drizzle is a smart irrigation system leveraging communication between underground sensors and an app to optimize water usage and minimize consumer costs. So I've been working on Drizzle for the past few years and this year I'm really excited to be starting um, college, my undergrad, while continuing to work on Drizzle. Wow, that's a very thought out response. Uh I guess that's where the name Drizzle comes from. So, uh, first of all, I, where were you born in India? So, I was actually born in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, my oh. family is from Gujarat, India. Um, so, I have taken a lot of trips up there and I absolutely love it there. Alright, uh, is there something from your childhood that inspired you to start Drizzle? Yeah, so I actually came up with the idea for Drizzle when I was in 8th grade. Um, I was taking a family trip to India, and for the first time in my life, I had witnessed communities that had to walk 5 to 6 miles just to access the fundamental right of clean water. And that was really eye-opening for me, because I grew up in the States and in Europe, and in communities where I was very privileged to always have access to water. Um, so I immediately knew that I wanted to do something to reduce my water usage and figure out ways that I can reduce water usage worldwide. So since it was my school's science fair time um, at the time that I saw this I had my aha moment when I saw that someone had their sprinklers on in the rain and upon doing research I found out that irrigation is a space where we waste a lot of money and resources and so I decided to be the change Wow it's very unfortunate what some communities have to do just to get a basic human right so I'm glad that your invention is now spreading water to more and more communities across the globe but what challenges did you face uh, during your startup of Drizzle? Sure, so um, just growing up as an Indian American female and being a teenager interested in tech entrepreneurship, um, I definitely found it difficult to find relatable role models, um, but I think that inspired me actually even more to kind of step up in the space and um, lead by example for others that want to do similar things. Wow, it's great that you're being a role model for other Indian Americans who want to do something but don't have enough resources. So how has studying at Northeastern University uh, impacted your entrepreneurship? So I will actually start studying at Northeastern this fall, which I'm very excited about. Um, I graduated high school a year early, and then I took a gap year in place of my senior year to work full-time on my ventures with Drizzle. So I'm excited to go back to school and to get back into an academic environment. And I'm really excited about my dual program in computer science and business and entrepreneurship there to see um, if I can grow my fundamental skills and just meet other people that are interested in the same things. Wow, that's great. It's great that you're devoting so much time to your business. When did you decide you were going to be a business major? So growing up, I religiously watched Shark Tank. It was my favorite show. So um, I knew in my mind that I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, and I also knew that technology and sustainability were so, so interesting to me. So once I came up with this idea of Drizzle for my science fair project, um, a few years went by and then I joined the entrepreneurship team at my high school. And I was looking for business ideas, talking to my mentor about what I could do. And then I told him about this project and he said, well, you have an idea right here, so why not turn it into a business? So from there, I entered a whole lot of pitch competitions, accelerators, and I turned it into a real business. Wow! It's great that you have the circumstances to do that. There are so many uh, owners that have an idea but just can't get it to work. And it looks like you have some similarities with my brother. He also religiously watches, watches Shark Tank. <laughs> As someone who is planning to do a major in computer science and entrepreneurship, how do you think those two uh, are related to your management of Drizzle? So again, I'm really, really interested in seeing the ways that tech can change our world. And I'm also super passionate about entrepreneurship. So if I can learn more about the tech sector and um, grow my skills there, I'm really excited to see how I can make Drizzle even better and how I can come up with future potential business ideas using the skills that I learn. Wow, that's great. And I heard, uh, since you're a computer science major, and I heard you're also uh, obsessed with AI, 
Uh, how do you think that AI's development in the future will impact your business? If so, it will. Yeah, for sure. So I actually use um, a lot of AI uh, related aspects in my business right now with the concept of having a smart irrigation system. Um, I'm fascinated by the whole idea of like a smart home or a smart city and just seeing the ways that AI can help solve some of our world's biggest challenges. So I personally am really excited to continue learning more about it and seeing how things unfold for um, the AI community. And I'm also really excited to see the other cool ways that people implement it into their businesses. Wow, you have very thought out responses. So it's great that your company is bringing water and irrigation to those who need it and saving lots of water for other things. And I wanted to ask you a few questions uh, related to your visit to the UN. So uh, why did you visit? Why did the UN invite you? Yeah, so uh, right now the United Nations is having its 2023 high-level political forum and I was invited to represent one of the youth organizations and it was such a great experience for me, um, especially yesterday I was able to sit on the main floor during the SDG 7 agenda review, um, which is right up my alley with clean energy and just affordable smart cities. So I really liked um, hearing what all of the diplomats internationally had to say about their progress in their countries and um, I was so glad that I was able to provide my input at a lot of the other sessions um, and especially from a youth perspective I think our world needs a lot more of that wow uh, what you've been doing is so great for the world and I think it was great that you were invited to the United Nations so you could uh, pitch your business to more people and spread water to those in need so uh, you're doing a truly great thing for the world with your irrigation system and I hope Drizzle sees a lot of success in the future uh, where do you see yourself in your business in five to ten years I really hope that Drizzle becomes one of the um, biggest household um, companies in the U.S. when it comes to the smart home industry and I really hope to see it all over commercially in cities, um, just really all over the world. Um, so far I've had the opportunity to be recognized by organizations like Forbes Ignite, Google, NASA, the U.S. Navy and um, I've got a lot of cool different things coming up so I'm really excited to continue working with big companies and learning from them and sharing my insights with them. Jeez, uh, it seems like your company is already off to a very good start. I hope that uh, your invention brings water to a lot of need.